Welcome back to Vikings Game Plan. It's Paul Allen. We're all always looking to improve, right? That includes number 20 for the Minnesota Vikings, Jeff Gladney. He's improving play by play. Here he is with Gabe Henderson. Rookie cornerback Jeff Gladney joins me today. Jeff, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How you doing, Gabe? <laughs> I'm good. No complaints. Finally got a win under our belt, man. After after taking some time to, you know, assess the film, what were some things that stood out to you about that win in Houston? We played we came out and played as a team. You could tell everybody we had the same common goal and consistency. We've been talking about consistency all week. Well, these past few weeks and we were we were consistent last week. Sixteen games in season twelve left. The first quarter of the season is done. After reassessing those first four games, talk about, you know, the progression through that point. Um, it's been a lot of improvement. You know, it's really, really the same thing every week. You know, get the playbook that we're going to put in and attack it. And, um, like, consistency, I, I can't say it enough. It's just really just be consistent. That's all we have to do. You go from nine snaps in week one, 29 snaps week two, 60 snaps week three, and then last week planned arguably the entire game. Like, d describe your progression so far. Uh, came a long way for sure. You know, um, the game's slowing down to me, and they, they need me there. And um, I'm going to come out and try to produce for them. Mike Zimmer, he, he talked to the media earlier this week, and he basically said, you know, the, the young corners, including yourself, are starting to come along. But for you, you have a lot more on your plate than any of the other corners playing slot, nickel, that nickel position, and outside. Talk about the, the preparation that goes into learning both of those positions. Uh, really just attacking it, uh, just separating the both of them. And once you know one, you know, it kind of helps you out with the other position. Mm -hmm. And really, I just know the guys are depending on me at both of those spots, so I got to step up. You play with an edge. Like, what do you tr attribute that edge to? Um, I've always just been aggressive when it comes to tackling. Like, growing up Little League, I was the smallest guy on the field, but I would hit. I kind of hit the hardest out of everybody, so I've just always been like that. When you look at this matchup, <laughs> Russell Wilson, but specifically for you, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, just two of the many receivers they have. What, what strengths do they have, and what do you plan on doing to take away some of their strengths? Uh, playing against Rush, you know, he's a great quarterback. Been watching him for years. Uh, Metcalf, they, they got a good supporting cast out there on the edge, him and Lockett, you know, and um, really just looking at the film and keying in on both of those guys and try to, you know, s slow them down a little bit. Has it slowed down? I mean, I know, like, we're, we're, we're not dealing with, you know, certain situations that's going on outside of, you know, the Minnesota Vikings, but, you know, being in the facility, has anything changed for you? Um, I mean, I'm getting adjusted to everything, really. You know, that's it. Like I said, the game's slowing down from just having reps and, you know, mental, mental reps. So what does the quarterback group have to do to build on last week's win? Um, just have to stay consistent, um, do our jobs. Basically, that's it. Just do our 111 and we should be fine. Best of luck, man. Looking forward right. to it. Sure. Thanks, Gabe.